So last but not least, uh, allow us to go through the advantages and the disadvantages of nitro trucks, whether it being a 1-8 scale or a 1-10 scale. Sitting in front of me here is the 1-8 scale Acme Barbarian and um, you can find, if you like the look of these ones or any of the other three, check the item descriptions for links regarding the products. Okay, so um, advantages of a truck. There are loads of these. Of course, the higher ground clearance means that you can clear these um, jumps, you can clear these uh, very, very rough terrains, the stones, etc. You can drive over these really, really rough terrains, and yet the general build of the car, apart from the tyres, etc., will stay totally clear of all of these stones and all of this um, dirt and everything else that is coming up from the ground that you are running on. So, um, all of that is fantastic with these trucks. The suspension system on these trucks is just great. You know, you can clear a really, really big jump or you can do a huge amount of off-roading terrain and these shocks on these ones, the big ball shocks, always are actually so big you can clear those jumps without any worries of any damage occurring to the suspension or the suspension arms or any other parts of the car, of course. Um, trucks always come very, very well protected, what with their front and their rear bumpers. Um, of course, this means that um, you can protect the shell, you can protect everything else, because trucks always come very, very um, highly built to a high standard, especially for bashing. Um, you know, what with uh, buggies and everything, and short course trucks may become slightly more aimed at the racing to the um, professional side of things, the trucks are great for everything. You can drive these ones on the off-road terrain, you can drive these ones on the on-road. Um, now let's go to the disadvantages. Of course, because of their thick um, tyres and often hmm, quite heavy as well, might make them slightly slower. Um, of course, this depends on the vehicle, so I can't give an overall view, but um, usually with the um, off-road trucks, due to the huge amount of grip on these tyres and the weight of the tyres as well, absorbs a lot of the um sorry absorbs a lot of the speed um and not actually going towards the overall speed and traction of the vehicle so you just got to remember that although these ones are very very durable and designed for off-roading they are not designed for the speed and if you do want to go with an on-road car or you planning to drive on road then do not go with a truck because these ones are not designed for um, I mean I'm not saying they're not designed but of course these are designed for the bashing and the uh, extreme jumps and the extreme power these are made for power not for speed if you're looking for speed then go with a buggy which is designed for power and speed these ones are purely made to be beastly, these ones are made to have power, durability, they're not necessarily made to have a load of speed on them. So um, of course they're fast, I mean this one really really is fast and it goes like the clappers, however you cannot expect this truck which weighs about double the, um, double the weight to this one to go the same speed because of course this one is meant for the durability, the power and the awesome off-road capabilities. Um, another perhaps slight disadvantages of the trucks is of course um, with them being slightly bigger means that and heavier is that when they land there is more of a thud might mean slightly more damage with these ones however because things are built for the damage then maybe not I mean it depends what weighs it out whether the actual you know the durability or the weight weighs this one out um, but apart from that the trucks are the way to go if you are into bashing off-road and pure fun with your RC vehicles if you're looking for speed and otherwise then please go with one of these ones the short course for more racing capabilities and the buggy for the on-road and the off-road these ones this one is flexible where it drives this one is also flexible where it drives however performs much greater off-road than on-road. This one, simply awesome, but this one here, I think really you need to be careful and uh, be aware of where you drive this one because actually this one is slightly sensitive, especially to the extremely rough terrains. But all three sat here, the buggy, the truck, the short course, pick your choice carefully because if you get landed with a short course and you want to start doing 60 foot high jumps, you're not going to be able to do it. If you want to do that, go with a truck or a buggy.
Thank you very much for watching this video series. I hope you found it uh, helpful regarding which RC vehicle you should plan to buy. Um, if you require any help or other assistance, then please feel free to email me, jt12rchelp.airworld.co.uk, or post a link in the comments section below. Or, uh, of course, you can also personal message me or comment on YouTube on my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash jthorny12. See you guys soon. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching.